Hello there. I've been away for a few days. Sometimes I don't take videos because my husband works from home, so it's, you know, he's working and doing stuff. And also, I will be perfectly honest, I've become obsessed with m this puzzle-making app. Oh, these darn computers and their apps. We were saying hi to Daisy today. Hi, Daisy. She's doing what she does most every day. My giant St. Bernard. She and I have to start walking a little bit more. We're, we're both getting a little too pudgy. So we're going to walk over and we're going to say hi to Jacob. Jacob is all bundled up. Not because he needs to be. Because it's not, it's not very cool here right now. But uh, he got some cute new clothes. So <laughs> he's all bundled up. And he's sleeping. And his gorgeous, gorgeous lashes. He's so beautiful. So the purpose of this video is to uh, have a little meet and greet with little Miss Charlotte. She's in here and she's sleeping on Mama's bed. Look, first of all, look how giant she is. She is gigantic. Okay, this is the biggest baby doll I have ever had, and certainly the biggest one. I've put together. Her feet and her legs are so gigantic. These little, these, <laughs> these little uh, leg things are just so huge. Oh, that's my phone going off. Anyway, um, so these leg things are so huge. They were so hard to get on her, but I, but she did, has three quarter legs. So I didn't want the I didn't want the cloth showing. But anyway, she um she's beautiful. I love her long hair. I usually don't like long hair on babies, but I I just I loved this wig and I just love the length of it. I'm I'm gonna have a lot of fun like giving her little braids and you know, doing her hair. And she's Got her little freckles across her nose. She's so cute. But um, what I did, I ended up only putting stuffing in her head. And, you know, she's got kind of a squishy head, which I don't usually like. But she's so big that if when I, when I put enough weight that I usually like to put so that their heads aren't squishy, um, when I put it in there, her head just flopped like she was just fallen over like a rock. So I had to take a lot of stuff out. I didn't put any weighting in her head. Um, her arms, I, I put um, I put stuffing from her hand up to about her elbow and then I put then I put the glass um, the ground glass in there for weight. I did not make her too heavy again because she just She's big, and she's got a lot of vinyl. Her arms are chubby, and her legs are fat. I mean, her, <laughs> I, I feel so mean, but her, her legs are, are just giant. Like, that's, that's my hands doesn't even re reach around them. So I didn't want to put too much weighting. I didn't want to put the strain on the, on the joints and everything. Her, her, her body has probably a whole bag of, um, a whole two pound bag of poly pellets inside a stocking. And that's in, you know, I, I try to keep it so that it, um, it kind of is bell shaped, kind of, you know, like, like they are. And then I put a silicone packet over the the front of the belly so you can really feel the silicone right there it really feels like a baby belly and um i did something interesting that i don't know if anybody else does or if anybody else thought has thought of this or if this is just my original idea but i um i found a a quilt batting for like a crib size quilt at a yard sale it was 99 cents and i thought yeah i'll grab this i i am a quilter um, and so I thought, oh, I'll, you know, I'll find something to do with it. Well, 
what I have been doing, especially for larger babies like this, I cut out a quilt batting, like a, a piece of quilt batting that goes down, over, and up. It's just the size of the doll body basically with the fold kind of at the crotch what I do is I put that inside the body and I put all my stuffing inside that so that there's a smoothness to it so that if any of that stuffing gets bunched up or anything it doesn't feel strange it just she has a very solid feel to her that um I just I just really like that. Um, sometimes if you buy cheaper stuffing, you know it, it can get bunched up and it kind of it kind of feels weird after a while. Like it's it's just kind of separated from itself. Um, this I think really helps. Oh, the fan just went on. Sorry about that. But I I just think it it helps keep everything together and. I put the little silicone packet underneath there in the belly and it it just kind of holds everything together as a as kind of a bag. I didn't sew it or anything like that and and all of the all everything the top of it and everything just kind of gave an extra strength to her neck which was really helpful. Um she uh she doesn't sit up very well, but that's okay. Amp, see, she <laughs> she doesn't sit up very well, but that's okay because she's a sleeping baby. And this is Mr. Wiggles. This is her bunny. He's kind of like her body pillow, but um, she is she is exactly what I wanted and expected, which is really really great. Um, did not expect the gigantic limbs. I think she's going to be very difficult to buy clothes for, but um little little dresses and little leggings and stuff I I think we'll do fine she is going to be my stroller baby because I'm going to try and start walking as part of my uh, losing weight so um, so this is Miss Charlotte Prince my princess Charlotte and uh, and you'll be seeing more of her hopefully and hopefully the rest of the world will too once I get myself a stroller <laughs> so um, stay tuned and thanks for watching.